Hello, everybody. There's a wee Citroen. There's the one I mentioned in the previous videos coming in this morning for a busted spring. So, have a wee look at that. Just trying to get out of the seat there. So, we'll find these coil springs an awful lot. Uh, is the brake at the bottom. The brake here at the bottom uh, turn where it goes into the seat. Now you see a lot of these here have this uh, this plastic cover on it. And you can see here that. This sort of plastic cover. That goes on the bottom coil. Now that is for uh, anti-vibration, anti-rattle. So the metal of the spring isn't touching the metal of the uh, of the seat of the shock absorber. So uh, it's like a wee uh, absorption pad for where the coil rests on the uh, thing. But what we tend to find is uh, the top water to the day, and uh, there's what happens there. It rusts, weakens the spring, and snaps at that point. That last sort of half turn is uh, there's an awful lot of force on that wee half turn there and uh, because it's uh, it's it's the smallest sort of turn on it, that's what they tend to snap and they don't snap there all the time but they never they never snap in the middle they never snap here or here Have, they do snap up the top occasionally uh, but uh, a lot of the times it's this wee way here so I'll string a fix out a couple of wee captures here on the on the smartphone. Uh, let me give you a few wee hints and chips how I'm going to take this thing apart. It's one of these ones where uh, the strut is down into the hub there. So we'll basically have to take this hub off. Uh, so we'll have to take this little hub off, drive shaft, see if a drive shaft is going to come out for us. Uh, sometimes they can be seized in and uh, I doubt whether we'll be able to get away with just pulling the wishbone down and getting that off because there's a good, you know, a good 50 millimeter to a couple of inches anyway. It will have to clear to get that. You need to get that hub down the bottom of the strut. So it'll be a hub off job, and then the strut will just sit there. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just put this camera to the side and uh, maybe show you a few wee hints and tricks off uh, get some of these nuts off. So I'm just going to set this over to the side and uh, record a few things. So you bear with me because uh, no one else is going to be edited. And you might get the light in the right place all the time because I'm not looking at the camera. So just a few wee things. Uh, I'll show you how I, how I do a few, a few of these. Uh, Take the suspension disassemblies. We have to draw this out too long. So, add your roll bar drop link bolts and uh, tie rod end bolts, all rusty. These things here get a lot of trouble. Uh, People struggle with them. It's uh, we own keys or torx bits, heads in them. Uh, they'll just round and strip on you if you're going to put any force on them. So if these threads are rusty at all, uh, you'll find yourself struggling with a Sunday roll bar trunk like You maybe end up cutting it off. Now, this is the secret. Wire brush. Now, not a hand wire brush. It's a waste of time. So, it's something like that. I have this on our drill, but you can put it on an ordinary uh, drill on high, sp high speed as you can. Make sure you wear safety goggles with this. Uh, because the wee wires of these wee wheels fly out all over the place. Uh, this thing's running about 18,000 RPM, so. mil on this car, a lot of things are 16 mil. Now she's just spinning, what we'll do is we'll get an RV bit. Yeah. 
Get a wee two of panther juice. And um, another rattle. Nope, so, it's not gonna come. For us. You might have to stick a fork in there. After all. So, clean your threads up, guys, and see if you a lot of grief. Alright, hope this helps. Thank you. Bye. Alright, guys, so, uh, stringing a couple of videos together here, just, it's not really edited, but they're just joined together. So, here's our little uh, strut out. So, that came uh, out of that knuckle there. That jump comes out. So pull the drive shaft out. That wasn't too bad. Surprisingly, that actually came out pretty easily. Uh, tie rod end off. There's a caliber hanging up here on the brake pipe uh, clip. Uh, that's sometimes you don't really have to take that off, but it's just for the limitation of the uh, brake hose because I wanted to get this hub sitting over here. It's sitting over here on two beer crates. Uh, finally found a use for all those beer crates. Uh, so um, the idea of that is so I don't put any uh, anything on that ABS sensor bar. Any tension on it. So the caliber off uh, has allowed me to bring that wheel right into the arch there. So there's the uh, the spring making a bid for freedom. So that's been fouling on the on the back of uh, the body work there. Just about to see it. I've been scraping, and it's been making a bit of a noise. There's a lot of people don't even drive about; and they don't even realise they have a broken spring. But that's an instant MOT failure. Uh, the MOT uh, just makes a beeline for springs right away as soon as they have the car up in the up in the air, and the springs are, are the wheels are hanging. And the springs are down, have a wee look, and uh, the least wee bit that's broken, uh, it's an instant fail. Uh, so this is, uh, it's not it's not an extreme condition, this particular one, but it shows that uh, the uh, spring is now completely out of shape, and it's just, you know, it's sort of that coil there that's holding it in place, and uh, it's not seated at all. So, yeah, it's just the design in this bottom of this strut where there's only a lip in the bottom bit at the front here, but uh, there's no lip whatsoever in the back. So uh, you can um, you can see that once you lose that, that front pigtail there, once you lose that front pigtail, there's nothing uh, stopping this um, this back part from uh, jumping out. So I said I wasn't going to uh, run through the whole thing because the video would be awful long because you, you never know what you're going to run into. This thing came apart no problem. This is only about 15 minutes after I shot the first uh, segment of taking the uh, 
uh, drop link off. So uh, there's a way I do it. Uh, see if you can have them to disconnect that ABS wire. You do not want to put any tension in that ABS wire. You treat it with the utmost respect. Uh, and you don't want to beat on that and, and stuff like that. You don't, you don't need to hammer things. If you, ha if you find yourself having to beat the crap out of something, then you're going to break it, it you're going to just deform it or break it or, uh, you know, shock that with the ABS sensor and the submission, and then you're in the ban on the ABS sensor. Uh, I'm doing this for a customer, so uh, I can't uh, afford to do this job and then having to. You end up, you end up not making any money. You end up costing you money doing this if you if you break stuff. Uh, so uh, this is this is a like a two thousand eleven Citroen or whatever. They're, they're not too bad coming apart, but they're they're not great either. Uh, you know. So uh, there's the top. I didn't have to take the wipers off. Well, I did take the wipers off, but I didn't take, I have to take that whole panel off. And I just scooted the top nut there. With that we uh, are gone. That we fuck on are gone. They're great wee jobs they are. Uh, so, I'm going to take a wee, wee shot of uh, compressing that in. So, thanks for watching.